Here's a quick tip when working with artboards in Illustrator. I tend to create documents that have lots of artboards. And I've got one open right now, and if I press Shift-O, I can see all the different artboards. It just takes me to my artboard tool. And you'll see all the different artboards I've got out here. Now, a lot of times I, of course, want to be able to save each one of these as a separate image. And that's what happens by default. Every time we create an artboard, it's actually cropped or sliced to the selected artboard. So let me go back to my selection tool. So for instance, if I click on Learn Dreamweaver right here, you can see that's the one that's um, enacted, I guess you could say, or the one that I'm working on. If I choose File, Save for Web and Devices, I can save it out, and it's just the one. Now there are times where I want to save all of these. Let's say I've got all these banners or you know, whatever you guys are working on, maybe page layout, whatever, and you want to save them as one big image. Well, we can do that pretty easily. If I come up to Object and come to Slice, you'll see Clip to Artboard. That's selected by default. That means Clip to each individual artboard as a separate image. If I turn that off or deselect Clip to Artboard, it'll take all these, no matter which one is selected or which artboard you've got, it'll take all these and put them into one big image. It's actually kind of a cool thing. So once I do that, now you gotta, you got to know this, you guys. If you do change, uh, change that selection, it's saved with the file. So if you save the file right now, whoever opens it up is going to have that option set. So just know that. If I come up to File, Save for Web and Devices, it's going to take a few minutes here because it takes a little bit of time. It's a lot of imagery to put in here. But what's going to happen is it's almost like putting it all on one big artboard for the most part. If you think about that, you guys, even if you're just trying to save it out to show a client or something like that or put it on a website, like a lot of times what I want to do is I want to take this and I'll put it on a website and show all the banners that they're going to they're gonna use. So it's actually kind of cool. That way you've got one big image and you're all set. So anyway, I can change the you know settings, that sort of thing, save it out, and I've got one big picture. But that's it. That's pretty much the, uh, the gist of it. And you guys saw how big that artboard was. It's probably because I have this little bit of text sitting down here. Usually it should crop to the artboard. So let me get rid of that, and I'll try that one more time. I just realized that. Save for web and devices. It'll take a few seconds here. It was trying to process that enormous artboard it was going to do. I'm going to fit it in the window, Control-0 or Command-0, and there we go. That looks a little better. All right. <laughs> hey, you know, I I always seem to mess things up, but I always get back to the, uh, the good stuff. So there you go. That's being able to save it out. And once again, turn it off if you don't want it for the next person to use this file.